So Republican and Marine Corps veteran John Deaton secured a victory in this week's Massachusetts Senate primary with more than 60 percent of the vote. He's now set to take on longtime Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren and says it's time to hold her accountable. John Deaton joins us now. So, John, I asked you, you know, looking at polling data and how things run in Massachusetts, you know, why are you different? And you told me what? Well, I'm first, I'm different because of my life experience. I come from extreme se severe poverty, uh, growing up in one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in America, inside of a subsection of Detroit. I've served in the Marine Corps. Uh, I'm the living dream. When you look at me, Lawrence, I am the living, breathing embodiment of the American dream and everything that's possible in a great free country like ours. And I got in this race because I see that dream dying because you have these elites like Elizabeth Warren. They sit back, hyper-partisan people, and they fuel division so that they can stay in power. And people are tired of it, and I think they're ready for change, and I'm going to bring that change to Massachusetts. So they typically vote solid blue. You say that you're not a partisan, though. What do you mean by that? Well, my loyalty is going to be to Massachusetts and America. I served in the Marine Corps. I took an oath. I know what that oath means to serve your country. And so Elizabeth Warren is loyal to the Democratic Party. She's loyal to her agenda and her own political motivations and ambitions. I will have one test in the United States Senate. Is it good for Massachusetts and America? If it is, I'm all in. And if it's not, it's not. And that test and that loyalty is what's going to separate us. So a lot of the things that Elizabeth Warren stands for... She got a lot of support within your state, and it's a lot of the things that the country at large has rejected when it comes to the border, Medicare for all, all of these programs. Are you going to run against those ideas? Well, sure. I'm, I'm running on the American dream and what I've done in my life. Listen, 64 percent, this is what people don't know about Massachusetts, 64 percent are actually independents. They're called unenrolled voters, not Republican or Democrat. And there's a big difference now. You know, Massachusetts has become a border state. We have a right to shelter law, so we have to house the migrants. Doesn't require residency that was passed in the early 80s and feed them. It's bankrupting the state. It's over a billion dollars has been uh, of taxpayer money has went to house the migrants. It's bankrupting the state. And inflation, Massachusetts is now the second most expensive state to live in, in the country. Regular people are being priced out of the economy. Those two big issues didn't exist six years ago, and Elizabeth Warren Warren is losing support every day because of her hyper-partisan politics and her loyalty to just a particular agenda. Real quickly, do you think you're going to get any national support from the Repu Senate Republican Committee or anything like that? Are they going to back your race? Or do they think it's winnable? Well, listen, I, I've already proved I won the primary by 65 percent. Big showing. People are coming together. And when, when I, my biggest obstacle, Lawrence, is in Elizabeth Warren. I've challenged her to five debates. I relish when I stand on that debate stage toe-to-toe -to -toe with her. It's the perception of Massachusetts, oh, it's liberal, and she can't be beaten. Once I break that perception, I have no doubt that people are going to come to me. And if I, if you don't mind, John Deaton for Senate.com, I need their help. I can win this race. I wouldn't yep. be in it if I couldn't. John, it's a pleasure. Thank you for your service. Thank you. We'll be following your race. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.